I'll show you how I use my MPC-1 and Newmark Orbit for wireless, MIDI, and control voltage fun. I'm including a detailed walkthrough of building the MPC project. Hope you stick around. Okay, I'm starting from an empty project. And the first thing that I need to do is to make sure that my Newmark orbit can do MIDI learn. And to do that, I need to go to the master system preferences. So on the MPC, I'm going to click shift menu and then MIDI sync. I've already been working with my Newmark orbit. And so the control setting is enabled here, but I do need to make sure that that is on now from the Akai website. They say, quote, when control is enabled, MIDI data from this port will be sent to MIDI Learn. Next, I'm going to enable an audio in track on the MPC so that I can hear all the awesome things that I do. So there's audio, input config, and I want the input monitor to be on in. Next, I'm going to add some MIDI tracks. The first MIDI track will be for the Neutron. 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 MIDI port is the Neutron, and the MIDI channel is number three. All right, there's the Neutron. Now let's add a MIDI track for the Model D. And I'm going to add a new MIDI program. That'll be for the D. The MIDI port is the Model D, and the MIDI channel is number four. All right, now I've got to do two things that I find are easiest from the track view. First, I want to set the input monitor to be in. So that means that MIDI data is going to come into these tracks no matter if they are selected or record enabled or not. So I'm going to click on the um, monitor until it reads in, auto, merge, off, in. Now the other thing that I want to do is to make sure that these two tracks are getting in MIDI data from only the Newmark orbit. So. For example, I have the orbit in my hand here, and when I press on the buttons, I can see that MIDI data is coming in. But I also have a Korg wave state synthesizer next to me, and when I press keys there, I can see that MIDI data is coming in there as well, and I don't want that to happen. I want the wave state to be separate. So what I'm going to do is to change the input port here to be just the Newmark orbit, and on this one, I won't double click on it. I'll just use the uh, Akai uh, MPC data wheel to go through and select the orbit. Now, when I press on keys on the wave state, nothing is happening, but I'm still getting MIDI data from the Newmark orbit. All right, next, I'm gonna add a CV track, a control voltage track. And then finally, I'm going to do the MIDI learning of the gestures on the Newmark orbit, and we're going to map those into control voltage. So I hit Shift uh, Program Edit, which is also MIDI control, and then I'm going to click MIDI learn. Now add a source, a program, CV, and my CV target is CV out 5. And now in order to learn the gesture, I have to make sure that the learn light is enabled here. And I'm gonna do the gesture on the Newmark orbit and there it's got it. I'm gonna add another one. Program CV. Program CV six. And I'm gonna do another gesture on the orbit. You can see that the data channel is different. And finally, one last one. Source, program, control voltage. Oopsie, I missed it. Target, program, control voltage, eight out. And for this, I'm going to turn the big wheel on the orbit. All right, we're done with MIDI learning.
To check on my MIDI mappings, I select the control voltage track and then press Program Edit. This allows me to see the control voltage output values when I do the gestures on the Numark orbit. There was pitch, roll, and the big wheel. The Numark orbit buttons output MIDI notes, but my gesture needs to be wired up. So I'm going to take a patch cable from the MPC, CV out 5, and go into the patch bay on the neutron. And the, the uh, endpoint is the freak mod. And I have to turn up the mod depth knob in order to get the uh, frequency modulation to happen. And then I make a few adjustments with the filter knob. to find the sweet spot. Now I'll do the same with the Model D. I get notes, but the gesture is not controlling the filter yet. So I'll take a five foot long patch cable from the MPC control voltage six and going into the uh, cut CV on the Model D. That's the filter cutoff frequency. This might be a good time to note that I like big filter knobs and I cannot lie, so I've swapped around a couple of the knobs to get big filter knobs. Now I have control of the filter on the Model D. In fact, I have independent control of both filters on both synths. The effect's a little more subtle on the Neutron, but you can really hear that awesome filter on the Model D. Now for the final part of this patch, I'd like to use the big wheel on the Newmark orbit to control the amount of noise that's present in the signal. I'll put the complete patch routing in the description of this video.